The Antarctic holds several records and has been called many names over the years. The icy continent at the South Pole is not only the coldest, but also the driest and stormiest land mass on our planet. With a gigantic area of 14 million square kilometers, the icy mainland mass is almost 40 times the size of Germany, making it one of the largest uninhabited land masses in the world, and one of the only uninhabited land masses, in fact. Even during the Antarctic summer months, 99% of Antarctica is covered by an impenetrable layer of ice, estimated to be about 5 kilometers thick. During the winter, temperatures in the interior of the country drop to a freezing cold minus 70 degrees Celsius. What at first seems like a desolate wasteland, in fact, has a central influence on the shaping of the global climate. In view of the gigantic ice masses that adorn the Antarctic, the question arises, what secrets could hide beneath these frozen layers? Today, we'll be exploring several bizarre and almost unbelievable secrets from Antarctica, as well as several mysteries that scientists hope to soon solve. But before we get into it, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around for number three to learn something absolutely unbelievable. Subglacial lakes. For many decades, most scientists believed that there were no structures worth mentioning under the extensive ice sheets of the Antarctic. All the experts located there were small accumulations of groundwater. It soon turned out, however, that the well-known experts had been blatantly mistaken in their assumptions. We now know that there are countless underground lakes slumbering beneath Antarctica's thick ice sheet. To date, more than 370 of these subglacial waters have been found. What's fascinating is how the shape of these secret underwater worlds becomes clear to us when we take a closer look at Lake Vostok. This is the largest subglacial lake that's been discovered in Antarctica to date. In detail, the huge freshwater lake slumbers at a depth of 3,700 to 4,100 meters below the icy surface. In length, the Vostok is a fabulous 250 kilometers, while at the same time it extends 50 kilometers in width. The water depth here is up to 1,200 meters, making it incredibly deep compared to other lakes. As early as the 1950s, the scientific thesis was put forward that there could be a gigantic lake below the Russian Vostok Station in East Antarctica. However, it wasn't until 1996 that the existence of the breathtaking body of water was proven beyond a doubt with the help of modern scientific data. But how is it even possible that a liquid body of water exists under the ice of the Antarctic, while the masses of water above are frozen? due to the icy temperatures. The fact that the Vostok doesn't freeze despite an average intrinsic temperature of minus 3 degrees Celsius is due to the high pressure conditions below the ice cover. When water is pressurized to such an incredible degree due to the ice buildup on top, it causes the freezing point of the water to lower in a dramatic way. Nonetheless, Lake Vostok, which is naturally immersed in constant darkness, is an incomparably extreme habitat. The experts were, therefore, all the more astonished when they discovered that the subglacial water is home to an astonishing number of species. The examinations of the samples taken revealed that there are thousands upon thousands of organisms that have yet to be fully examined. These are mostly bacteria. However, parasitic DNA, which was also discovered during the research, suggests that the Vostok Lake could also serve as a home for living creatures that we may know nothing about. In addition to worms and sea anemones, this also includes crabs and possibly even fish. Bentley Subglacial Trench 
Not all areas below the icy surface are adorned with impressive water collections. The so-called Bentley Subglacial Rift is also one of the most exciting natural structures that we find in the lower regions of the Antarctic. In detail, it's a depression completely enclosed by ice, the deepest point of which is a fabulous 2,496 meters below sea level. For a long time, the Bentley Subglacial Rift was considered to be the deepest depression on the mainland of Antarctica. In 2019, however, the amazing structure in West Antarctica had to give this title to another valley. We now know that the Denman Glacier, which is located in the east of Antarctica, lies a canyon that's even deeper, lying about 3,500 meters below sea level. Traces of the Past Those of you who've paid attention to geography know that there are seven different continents on our globe. While the natural face of the Earth today is characterized by Africa, Europe, and others, the matter was completely different many millions of years ago. At that time, our home planet was still adorned by gigantic continents, and many scientists believe that the Earth remained this way for millions of years. The great continent of Gondwana once covered an area of its own of an astonishing 73 million square kilometers. In the course of its ancient existence, Gondwana and Laurasia formed a supercontinent at least twice. Today's Antarctica was once part of Gondwana. Before the great continent drifted apart around 170 million years ago and slowly began to freeze, the natural shape of Antarctica was very different from the freezing cold face that the continent presents to us today. In prehistoric times, there was a blooming, swampy rainforest. These days, there's nothing left aside from a barren wasteland of ice and snow. However, the area was once characterized by a warm, humid climate, which gave the most diverse animals and plants a friendly environment. What was once just a crazy theory for many decades was proven beyond doubt for the first time last year. At a depth of 30 meters below the seafloor, a team of researchers actually discovered some remains of the flowering plants that once created the panorama of what is now the frosty continent. The experts came across residues from tree ferns and conifers, the sediment drill core, in which the sensational traces of prehistoric time slumbered, was recovered in February 2017 in the Amundsen Sea in western Antarctica. The exceptionally good condition of this 90-million-year-old forest floor left even the most experienced scientists with their jaws on the floor. A primitive collection of plants spread out before the eyes of the researchers, made up of pollen, spores, and the residues of flowering plants, among other things. The more detailed investigation finally revealed that during the Cretaceous period, the Antarctic had an average annual temperature of 12 degrees Celsius. This would have been quite warm when compared to most continents, measuring around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Radioactive Stones when we think of the Antarctic, images of vast and icy landscapes, gigantic glaciers, and freezing cold seas immediately come to mind. Did you know, however, that there's an incredibly hot spring below the massive ice cover, which melts the ice above? This discovery was made by several researchers from the British Antarctic Surveys in 2018. Within their study, the experts reported that the immense heat underground caused an approximately 5,000 square kilometer ice sheet to drift further and further below. The experts came to this conclusion when they located huge subglacial lakes on their radars, which are located several kilometers below the Antarctic surface. The researchers were particularly astonished at the fact that an ice surface five times the size of Berlin had suddenly completely disappeared. But what origin could this natural melting process be based on? If you follow the theories of scientists, it's most likely 
create radioactive stones that drive this process. The hot spring could have been fueling the process for many thousands or even millions of years. The experts assume that numerous other as yet undiscovered geothermal heat sources are hidden beneath the ice. However, the resulting ice melt is also associated with devastating consequences. The occurrence of melted ice below the icy crust could ultimately make the area much more susceptible to the manifestations of global warming. At the same time, the additional water causes a steady rise in sea levels, which is currently around 0.6 millimeters per year, and the trend is rising. In fact, the continent's annual ice loss has tripled within a few years. In detail, the Antarctic loses around 220 billion tons of its natural ice deposits every year. For most scientists, this is evidence that the world is warming on a global scale. However, for naysayers, this may be nothing more than evidence that the global temperatures are simply shifting once again, though admittedly, this would be taking place at an alarming rate of speed. When we take into account that Antarctica was once a beautiful tropical rainforest, it makes sense that over time, it may become a rainforest once again. However, for those who believe this theory, there's one particular obstacle that's difficult to overcome. We have to remember that Antarctica was once attached to other continents and would have likely been located much farther north than it is today. As the continent began to drift toward the southern pole, it makes sense that it would have frozen over. However, this too is just a theory. In reality, we don't know for sure what would have caused the continent to freeze. This is what makes the discussion so fascinating. Many scientists believe they have an excellent understanding of the world around them. However, we do have to keep in mind that much of what we claim to know about our natural world is nothing more than a theory. More often than not, the scientific ideas that are shared around are based on educated guesswork. At the end of the day, we don't know for sure when Antarctica would have been a rainforest, why it would have cooled off, and when it may warm up once again. This is a rather unpopular opinion in the world of science. However, the truth is, your guess is as good as anyone else's. Puzzling Hole in the Ice Sheet It was 1970 when experts observed an inexplicable phenomenon in Antarctica. On some satellite images of the frosty continent, the researchers discovered a gigantic hole in the icy crust. More precisely, the crack had formed in the ice cover of the so-called Lazarev Lake. As if the sudden appearance of this hole weren't puzzling enough, it disappeared again as if by magic during the summer months. Which phenomenon triggered this enigmatic natural spectacle remained an unsolved mystery over the following decades. It wasn't until 2017 that the mysterious process repeated itself. This time, a 9,500 square kilometer breakthrough was torn in the Antarctic ice sheet. An international team of researchers set themselves the task of getting to the bottom of the natural processes this time. The results of the study now suggest that those cracks, known as polynia, arise in the sea ice layers as a result of Antarctic storms. According to this, the ice masses would be torn up during the extreme cyclones that regularly rage there. The immense wind forces eat their way into the ice shell like a natural drill. The resulting temporary holes even offer animals living there some relief as they simplify access to the water and thus create new hunting sources. However, the effects on the global climate are drastic. The polynias not only influence the ocean currents, but also accelerate the exchange of energy between the ocean and the atmosphere above. In the course of climate change and the resulting increase in temperature, such holes in the ice of the Antarctic will probably appear more and more frequently. This is a scary thing to think about, as we don't know for sure how often situations like this may occur. If they begin to pick up pace and happen more often, it's possible that the effects could accelerate global warming, which is already occurring at an alarming rate. Regardless of where you stand on global warming, and whether you believe it's caused by humans or caused by Mother Nature herself, 
One thing is true, global warming poses a disastrous threat to us all. If the world continues to warm at the rate we're seeing today, it's been hypothesized that by the year 2030, there could be global food shortages that could cause us all to fall into a state of massive panic. Without proper food to feed the 8 billion people that live on this planet today, it would pose a terrifying risk for every future generation. Think about it, there are already people across the globe who have no reliable source of food or clean water. When you consider that more and more new lives are being born each day, it makes sense that 10 to 20 years from now, we may face a global crisis. If we can't reliably feed everyone who lives today, what makes us think we could do it in a few decades from now when food sources are even more scarce? It's a scary subject to think about, but it is the terrifying reality that we live in. What do you think of the fascinating structures and formations below the Antarctic ice sheet? We look forward to reading your comments and your theories. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more content.